Hello there, you're all very welcome to the show. It's St. Bridget's Day, so happy St. Bridget's Day, the 1st of February. Of course, going to be a bank holiday next year, Derek. Absolutely, and we all deserve it after we the last couple do. of years we've had. We're going straight to Skype to say hello to historian and folklorist Shane Lahan. Hello, Shane. We're going to and happy St. Bridget's Day to all of you as well. Great to be here. And delighted to hear that at long last we've recognised this great Celtic festival, this great great Celtic tradition of Imbolc, or Bridget's Day, when we begin spring. And I don't know about you, but there's a spring in my step. I'm so excited about all of the positivism that's coming our way post-COVID and, and everything like that, you know. So uh, I, I love the idea that, that we've picked um, a day that celebrates, number one, womanhood. Uh, Bridget is the personification of the female, the female goddess. So I think that's something that's all in our minds lately. So it's wonderful we have someone to celebrate in that. And secondly, I also think it's really important that Bridget represents in many ways the goddess, the female figure who represents the land. So in that way, it's like the mother goddess or the environment. So women and the environment, what could be better every year on the 1st of February that Irish people would pay homage to these two important issues? And Shane, you know, we celebrate St. Patrick's Day and we all have shamrocks and all that. I wonder how we could or we should, I suppose, celebrate St. Bridget's Day next year, probably with Crush Vrija. We'd have to make it well, smaller. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Well, we, we have the making them. And it's something really interesting, you know, um, when we look at the Crush Vrija, the, the lovely crosses that people make, I think that's a beautiful icon. It's something that is immediately recognisable. I see it um, everywhere in, in libraries, in offices, in dental surgeries. You know, it's something that has lasted through time. Um, and what's really lovely is that they're made from the rushes or from some of the straw, but it's almost like bringing the wild and putting some sort of order on it, the beautiful weaving that we make, the beautiful symbol of, of the cross, that lovely womb shape, as it were, the seed of the new year that, that is coming. I, I just think that we have something special in the Bridget's Cross and it's a tradition that school kids have continued and long may it continue. And I'm sure as we make it into a bank holiday, it's going to become a great icon and something we should we should manage because every year it comes around, it reminds us of this great cycle and um, that the cycle of rejuvenation. We all need a lift now. We need a lift after the winter. We need a lift after COVID. And the Bridget's Cross, I think, does that for us. Yeah, it really is the first day of spring today, isn't it? It is, and there's there's that sense as well that you know we 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 can you can feel it. The birds are singing, and uh, they're making their nests. The lambing is beginning. The all of the animals on the farms are going. We've got that sense, and I also think it's interesting that Irish people still hold Bridget's Day as the first day of spring, meteorologically, and right around the rest of the world. I think officially it's the twentieth of March mm -hmm. this year, but Irish people will say, you know. Uh, you know, that we, we're getting ready, that we're putting away the candle, half the candle, the darkness is behind <laughs> us, gone, the yeah. brightness is in the future. Shane, just very briefly, because we don't have long left, but why do we make these crosses out of straw? Where did that come from, that tradition? Yeah, the, the whole idea, I suppose, is at the end of the, the, uh, the harvest, at the end of, of having the cereal crops, if you like, we used to keep the seed from that. And when we used to make the Bridget's Crosses, in, in, we made them either out of rushes or straw. And the very first seed to be sown in the new year came from the old crosses. So the continuity from the Kailuk, from the old uh, uh, Samhain period, from the end of harvest to the new beginning and the new seed being sown. So this is the cycle of nature. This is the cycle of the year. And we're back, uh, you know, we're back sowing seeds starting off again. Great. Thanks so much for joining us, Shane. We'll see you very, very soon. Very we'll be talking about this a little bit later on as well with our panel.